Hi, I'm Jen from Tea Leaves in Tweed and welcome to Tea in the Garden. This morning I'm sharing a session with a new tea that I bought on a whim. Uh, my friend Nazanin at Tea Thoughts ran a giveaway with this company uh, that makes an app called Sencha and it is a company where you can buy your tea through the app and then the app also has a steep timer but it's a really beautifully done steep timer. So while I sadly did not win the giveaway of their Gyokuro, I decided to treat myself to some new Sencha. So I decided to use the app full circle. So I ordered my Sencha from the app and then I'm going to share brewing it for the first time today using the parameters in the app. So my experience using the app to buy the tea was really simple. I clicked on the tea that I want, they offer a limited variety of tea. They have a sencha, they have a gyokuro, they have a genmaicha, they have a hojicha, and they have a matcha. So, you know, five types of tea. And I ordered the sencha, and it is 100 grams of tea for $27. I paid $5 for shipping, so that was 100 grams of tea for $32 when you include shipping. It got here really fast. I ordered it on a Friday, and it was here on Monday. Um, and now I would like to share my thoughts. So we're going to brew using the app, so I won't need to chatter during the brewing because the app gives you everything you need to know. So let's brew. All right, here we have our first steeping of our Sencha tea from the Sencha app. That app really is a beautiful experience. The sounds are so lovely and meditative and the little meditative quote that you get at the end of each steeping is just such a beautiful way to set the mood for a relaxed session of tea. But let's see how this tea tastes. So you can see it's a beautiful pale jade color. It has a lovely light, very classic Sencha scent. Ooh, it's got a little bit of umami and a little bit of kind of bright acidity. Not what I would call astringent, but definitely kind of a brightness to it. It almost tastes juicy, if that makes sense. This is a lovely little Sencha, and the app is a wonderful way to steep it perfectly. I love that they have options for if you have your own variable temperature kettle, as well as to allow your tea to be steeped in water that you've boiled and cooled for those who don't have a uh, controlled temperature kettle. 
because I know not everybody does. You could boil your water on a pot in a pot on the stove. So that was one steeping of the Sencha from the Sencha app, brewed according to the app parameters. I will, of course, put all the information about the app below. And I think I'm going to enjoy another two steepings of this because the app does give you the option of steeping the tea three times with varying parameters for each of the steeps because not every steep of Sencha is exactly the same. Because you can never have the same cup of tea twice. So thank you for joining me this morning for Tea in the Garden with Sencha from the Sencha app. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again sometime. Bye.